I want to start out by talking about two very, very important subjects, right? So first of all, I got a plant, right? That technically makes me an adult. I own a plant. Secondly, y'all got to find a name for this little dog right here. So comment a name and the comment with the most likes will be his name. But in more seriousness, I know what you came to see. You came to see this thing, right? Hmm, sense cap. Now, I do believe that the boxes you guys are going to be getting are going to be a little different. SenseCap released their video today announcing the actual product, showing you how to onboard it and all that. And this was black, the logo is black, and this is black. This is obviously one of their engineering models. Now, SenseCap actually sent this out to a test group. What's a test group, Smokehelm? Well, it's basically a bunch of very smart people that we refer to as engineers and then uh, content creators. Like, what's up? I'm actually very happy they chose to include me in the program. And I must say, my exchange with SenseCap has been one of the best that I've had with a brand and the people that work there. So thanks for being cool, guys. Okay, let's get into what you came here to see. Let's unbox this. I've had this for a couple weeks now. So obviously, in good Smolcom style, I lost the instructions pamphlet. But there is one in there. When you open the box, you're greeted by this magnificent black moose that when you lift up, reveals the M2 data only hotspot, a power plug for your region, the magnetic antenna base, and the 3 dBi antenna, which let me tell you, this thing is amazing, but a bit more on that later. Let's go ahead and take out the hotspot. I want to actually compare this to something that I know. Let me tell you, this thing is amazingly well built. There's no jiggle at all. I don't know if you can hear that. Obviously, you can't because there's no noise, but but let me tell you, this thing feels way sturdier than a Bobcat. Already, you can tell it's not the same plastic being used, like, you see how that doesn't resonate? It's like thick plastic, whereas, I don't know if my mic's going to be able to pick that up with the noise gate, but yeah, this thing is built like a tank. Obviously, on you guys' versions, this little part is going to be black and not green. Now, let's take a look at what is actually on the hotspot. First of all, you're going to have your antenna port right here. Then in the back, you're going to have the power, the Ethernet, which this thing does accept power over Ethernet, which is pretty cool. And then you'll have a USB-C for the console. This thing right here is going to be your button that I find Amazing. Compared to having nine Bobcats where you have to always walk around with like, you know, that SIM card tray pin in order to hit that button to put it in Bluetooth mode, you just do this. Which, why? Bobcat, why did you not think about that? Which honestly, at first, when I was looking for the place to put it in Bluetooth mode, I couldn't find it because I was like, where is the hole to actually put it in Bluetooth mode? And I was like, oh wait, is this thing a button? yeah then you're gonna have your micro sd card which don't need and importantly a nano sim yes this thing can run 4g lte meaning way easier to actually do remote locations you just gotta give this thing power give it a nano sim and you're good to go then you're gonna have your power light your lower light your WLAN light, and your LTE light. That's pretty much it for stuff that is on this thing. I just want to mention again, this thing is very sturdy. It is very well built. It is not going anywhere. I'm not going to use it as a frisbee, and I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm sure you could, and you'd probably hurt the person you're throwing it to. Unless my left arm is way overdeveloped than my right arm, this thing is also heavier than the Bobcat. And I mean, everybody knows, right? The heavier it is, the better quality it is. That's why a lot of cheap brands will actually put a metal brick inside of their products just to make it feel heavier, but not in here. Now, looking at the antenna, let's start with the antenna base first. It comes with this little protector. It is a bit dirty because I've been running it outside, which no issue for the moment. I'm not sure if it's an outside antenna or not. It rained on it, there's sun on it all day, but no problem. When you take that off, you're going to be greeted by this little stubby where you're screwed the antenna on. And underneath, you can see the SenseCap logo and the fact that it is not tuned for a specific frequency, but rather goes from 860 all the way to 930 megahertz, obviously 3 dBi gain. Now, the antenna itself is also branded SenseCap, 
It does feel a little lighter compared to my other antennas. But I mean, if you've ever taken one of these apart, usually it's just a metal rod inside and the plastic is just acting as a protection for it. The engineers in chat, if the plastic has any actual function besides protecting that metal rod, please let me know. And then it is actually as simple as screwing it in just like this. And ta-da, that's pretty flush. I've actually been trying out this antenna on this Bobcat. And this Bobcat has been running with a 4DBI stock Bobcat antenna. I've ran it with a Bingfu 3DBI fiberglass antenna. The Bobcat 4DBI gets around 22 to 28 witnesses. The Bingfu antenna gets around 30-ish. This thing has gotten me 45 witnesses and i'm not capping i was shocked i was like i'm you know what i'm gonna try it out on like a full hotspot to see if it'll do anything damn i checked on their website i don't think they're actually selling this right now but if they did and please do sense cap i would buy a couple as far as the power plug goes i don't really think i gotta explain this to you guys if you order eu frequency you'll get this plug if you order a us frequency you'll get the us plug now that you know everything about what's in the box, let's talk a little bit about my experience running it for a couple weeks now. First of all, the onboarding fee is not included. So that's gonna be a total of $15 for you. Secondly, this is actually a data only hotspot, not a light hotspot, not a full hotspot, data only. What does that mean? That means that this does not witness, this does not participate in proof of coverage. It only sends packet transfers. And if you own a full hotspot, you'll know that packet transfers are not the way to make money. Compared to other manufacturers, I do believe SenseCap is owned by Seed Studios, which is a company that actually provides IoT solutions. So they're not just about selling full hotspot, making those margins. They're actually into building the network. And this hotspot is exactly that. This thing is basically a lower WAN gateway that will relay data packets in order to help the network grow, get more clients for <coughs> Nova Labs, and help build this worldwide network. Now, in a previous video, I said, if you're spending money on a hotspot, it's because you want to make money. You're not doing it just to build the network. Well, I've got a couple comments back on that one saying, I'm actually doing it for both, or I like to build the network. I've got a bit of free cash. I'm like, why not help out? Well, if that's what you want to do, this is actually the perfect hotspot for you. I believe right now it's priced at $199, which is less than half than any full hotspot and will let you actually help build the people's network. Now, if you have any questions about the M2, you could go into the SenseCap Discord. You can drop them in the comments. I'll have links to both the EU and US version of this M2 in the description. I do believe those are not affiliate links, at least not yet. Some might come in later and i actually want to thank you guys for like subscribing because if you guys didn't subscribe and we didn't build the community and information about helium i don't necessarily think that SenseCap would have sent me this which is just normal because why send it to a random person so i really do appreciate you guys and support and if you want to support even more just drop a like you know it's free also if you liked the hoodie i've been repping there will be a link in the description and on the end screen on that note it was your boy Marcel, aka Smoke Helm, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.